guys. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing all right. Um, got a new episode of Technos News. This is episode 35, I believe, for the 20th of March. I really appreciate all the support. It does mean a lot. If you wouldn't mind, as I keep saying this, but if you wouldn't mind letting the video play through, it would be very much appreciated. I'll try and push toward my target hours. And if you wouldn't mind watching any of my other videos, I'd be very grateful for that. If you haven't already, please hit the sub button, hit the thumbs up on the video, ring the bell for alerts of new content and live streams, and leave a comment if you wouldn't mind doing so. Even just your favourite emoji will do, just to leave some engagement. But um, any feedback is appreciated. I'd be very grateful for that. Follow my socials, X and TikTok at Technofish Live. And if you want to discuss this or any of my other videos, please feel free to drop by my live streams from around 10 o'clock UK here on YouTube Gaming. And let's hit the news, shall we? Right, guys. So in light of all the recent layoffs and things, it looks like there's a lot going on behind the scenes and a lot of devs are breaking free from the AAA studios and setting up their own studios. Hopefully, this means there will be less corporate bullshit in the future titles, we might get less live service games, we might get less broken games on launch, who knows. Um, but some of the highlights that have sort of popped up this week is yeah, some Naughty Dog id software, or ID software, and Activision devs have created a company called Empty Vessel, and apparently they're working on a new Space Age FPS IP. No further details are given, obviously it is very early doors be interesting to see what comes of that there is some good talent on board there from some of the guys and sort of who worked on the likes of uncharted and there's probably some call of duty guys in there um doom things like that um so it could be interesting to see where that goes um similarly a former star wars jedi god of war director has set up a new studio uh called giant skull no real details a given from that but it'll be interesting to see what they come up with um obviously they've got some good third person adventures under the belt there, so it'll be interesting to see what comes from them and in the sort of light of all the turmoil of all the layoffs and things around 600 staff from activision have apparently got together and created a union uh, microsoft have recognized that union so hopefully they'll have some come back if anything else happens. It's obviously in a bid to secure jobs and to sort of steady the industry as such. Um, so good on them for doing that. Again, be interesting to see if there are any more further layoffs or anything in light of that, or if any other studios sort of take note and do similar. But I can't see many of the other studios left that are big enough to want to warrant a, a union to be fair but yeah it'd be interesting to see what happens there in light of that a lot of the reason there probably was the um, layoffs and stuff was because of the introduction of ai into the industry sort of taking over people's workloads and automatically generating assets for games and things like that but apparently there was a trial um they set up a, a six-month trial where a AI was given full reign and was told to create a fully functional 2D game but apparently the results came back that it was unable to replace the talent and a quote it said the quality needed can only be achieved by experts in the field using AI as a new powerful tool as it states it needs the people to use AI to sort of guide it it can't do it all on its own yet but sort of expanded so quickly that side of things and i kind of see it being long before it does take over but we'll say it'll be all bloody skynet and stuff um speaking of games taking over i'm not really go i've i've seen the adverts and stuff um but i'm not one for mobile games especially this kind of thing but apparently in the 10 months since its launch it's raised over two billion dollars what are people doing? Are they actually buying the bloody properties in real life or what? How How is it generating that much income? That's scary. Um, the marketing costs were supposed to be around 500 million just for marketing of the game, um, which is more than the likes of Spider-Man 2 actually took to develop. 
Um, apparently it's been in the works for around seven years development behind the scenes. They've obviously done the work for it to pull that much. God knows what people are spending it on. I don't even know what sort of microtransactions you can buy in Monopoly. It's a bit of a strange one, but people will be people. Speaking of mobiles and stuff, social media, the US House of Representatives have passed a bill um, to try and ban TikTok altogether in the US in light of it, it's given the Chinese company ByteDance who own the app uh, they've got six months to sell its control and stake or it'll be blocked nationwide in the US I'm not sure if they'll take any notice of it or what will actually happen or what the implications will be how they'll actually block the app I don't know what the implications will be with the relations to the east um, I don't know but apparently Biden has announced that if it does get put on his desk he'll sign it straight away so that could be interesting to keep an eye on other interesting news this week it's quite scary really but the regional finals of Apex Legends um, had to be put on hold because the players were getting hacked remotely during live gameplay um, basically it resulted in the players losing control of the PCs altogether or the PCs suddenly activating hacking software and bots wall hacks and things like that surely those softwares must have already been on the PCs for them to be activated which makes you wonder why the pros have got them on there but um, regardless it's, it's a scary situation and the players, well all players of the game have been advised to do a clean OS install um, if need be just to try and clear it all out that, that, that's terrifying to be fair um, obviously it's supposed to have anti-cheat software built into it and things like that if they can get root control of your PC I mean even the likes of Valorant with the Riot one be interesting to see if that's secure or not because if people can get control of PCs then there's definitely something needs doing with that another fail this week was the launch of the Battlefront Classics apparently it was an absolute shit show the servers were non-existent apparently there were three servers at launch um, with enough room for like 200 people when they had like 10,000 players wanting to get online um, apparently in game the net code was totally broken there was lag and rubber band and like beyond belief and everything was just knackered um, even the single player stuff wasn't safe that cut out loads of the cutscenes from like the story campaign and stuff like that despite the game coming in at 73 gig for some reason apparently the the two original games only coming in about 10 gig combined but this was 73 gig obviously they've up some of the textures and stuff but they obviously haven't done any compression or anything like that because it's it's coming in at a whopping 73 gig for two really old games which is crazy um, there was also a weird issue if you were playing the hero mode no matter what map you were on yeah the contain the cantina band playing in your ears on loop for the duration which was apparently triggering youtube music licensing and stuff like that so that's all a bit crazy uh, pleased I didn't pick it up in the end to be fair I, I was sort of interested but I'm pleased we didn't go over that um, lastly obviously I've been playing a lot of Blood Bowl lately I'm trying to get back into that uh, I have been accepted into the league um, so look for league games coming there's been a bit of an issue with it though because I'm taking over from some guy that dropped out but the system has automatically triggered that game and give the person I was supposed to be playing a win um, so it looks like I'm starting a game behind with a loss before I even start but um, I'm not expecting much performance wise anyhow I'm just interested to give it a go and try and get back into that so that'll be coming soon um, likely Valorant I'll be playing Valorant more again um, there's been a lot of news around the new agent Clove apparently they're going to be non-binary and there was a link of their ability icons um, no real news what the uh, abilities actually are um, though one of them is rumoured to be a revival whether it's a self-revival or a revival of team player I'm not sure 
uh, but interesting to keep an eye on that. There was a tease of a possible new map called Bastion. This image here doesn't really give much away whether it's a full map or a, a smaller multiplayer map. Again, doesn't really show much. And lastly, there's been some sort of leaks of the Fortune's Hand bundle. There's going to be a, a wand like the Christmas wand, a Phantom Guardian, Odin and a Ghost. So yeah, we'll be keeping an eye on that to see what's going on with that. But in the meantime, guys, that's pretty much it for the news for this week. Um, as I said, if you would leave some feedback, it'd be very much appreciated. And if you want to have a chat about this or any other videos, please pop by my live streams and we'll have a chat. In the meantime, have a good one. I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.